Alright, this is Research Indicates, and I just robbed a bank in Egypt! Okay, here we go, we're back to the game, let's get going here. New mission, okay, name of the visitory. Research. Call sign, go seven. Up. Alright, what do you think? This is a classy looking guy, I got Brock. Like, brick face here or something, uh, redhead. Something. This is a classy looking motherfucker. Let's do this guy. Okay, go! Go! What do I do? Enter. Here we go. Well, duh, veteran. Okay, dokes, here we go. We got our hangar. We can fly the mission from right here. We can go to the supply room. We've got our save thing here. Who needs to save, honestly? So we'll go to Harold's Death Emporium. I'm pretty sure I saw this guy in Waterworld. So let's go. Let's take a look. We've got 10,000 credits, uh, we've only got 75% health right now, uh, so while we could spend our 10,000 credits on a number of other things, something like the Ion Scanner, which gives us a, uh, a health meter on bosses, you know, Mega Bombs, Missiles, Shields, Cannons, various useful things, we are regrettably unable to afford any of this. So, let's go ahead and just buy this, top off our health, we are good. Let's go fly our mission. Fly, we're gonna go to the Bravo sector. It's a good place to start. Each of these is a, uh, a more difficult area. Got Bravo sector is the first uh, the first section. It's the original set of missions that came with the game. The second one here, Tango sector, is you know, more of the same kind of thing, but a little bit more difficult. And Outer Regions was an expansion that came along later that is tremendously difficult. It's all on the moon and on Mars and, and various things, and I don't recommend that at all. Uh, to start out with, because you just simply cannot kill the enemies. So here we go. Wave one. Oh, this takes me back. Here we go. Okay, picked up a little bit of health there. Those big yellow... Uh, yellow and gray canisters that you see on the ground there uh, generally contain power-ups of one kind or another. It's a good way to get decent weapons in this game without having to pay through the nose for them at Harold's Death Emporium. However, you can sell weapons that you pick up over the course of the game to Harold and the Emporium. You make, uh, make quite a bit of money that way. Oh! Kamikaze guy there. Okay, here we go. There's another one. And we've got our first upgrade, air-to-air -air missiles. Here we go. Much better. Now, as the name indicates, air-to-air -air missiles are air-only, uh, but uh, they're very good at, uh, at what they do, so they'll do for now. Later on, we'll be able to uh, pick up another weapon that uh, is a little more effective against ground targets. For now, our, uh, our machine guns will do the trick. Yikes. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I just wish I had a better way to deal with these boats. Oh! And these helicopters are equipped with the exact same air-to-air -air missiles that I am, so that can get a little tricky. So are these guys when you get right down to it. As you can see, I'm blowing up all sorts of things on the ground. The more stuff you destroy, the more money you get. The more money you get, the more stuff you can buy. There's a pretty simple formula here. Oh, dear. Now 
that I've got these air-to-air -air missiles, these kamikaze guys have a lot more trouble taking me out. So this is good. Whoops! And that sound means we've hit our first boss! As you can see, this is a Harrier style jet. Doesn't look much like an F-22 Raptor, but I think it might be. So here we go. Got a supply room. Look at that. 58,000. First thing you want to do, of course, is top off your health. Brings us down to 38,000. Now, the ion scanner, very, very useful uh, if we want to keep track of how much damage we're doing to a boss. But right now, it's not all that useful. Later on, it becomes you know, a little more handy when you need to know which of your different weapons are damaging a boss more, but since we've only got one weapon, there's really no point there. So Mega Bomb's not going to spend any money on that right now. They're great, but they're a lot better to pick up along the way. Um, so here we go. There's our first missile, the uh, AIM-31 Mauler. Since its introduction in 1997, as we all know, the Mauler is our Air Force's standard weapon or something. Uh, 63,000. Now that is worth quite a bit of money. So I could sell that guy. Not quite at the same price, so approximately half. Uh, but, let's see, between that uh, and what I've got, I could pick up a shield, maybe? Plasma cannon? Well, maybe not a plasma cannon. In any case, you're not going to be able to get a whole lot off the first level. So uh, this is good for now. And, um... Uh... I loaded the wrong game again, didn't I? Okay, hold on a minute. Okay, that's better. Uh, let's play the correct game this time. Okay, no campaign. Here we go, let's play GO! Okay, today we're going back to Boeing Field. We're gonna be pulling up uh, one of our old buddies here. The Devastator. We need to make a custom variant for this one. We're gonna be attacking a big stationary target. Uh, so, gonna need the Devastator's excellent uh, hard points and, uh, and loadout with rockets, uh, but I need something that's a little quicker than the damn bomber, so we're not gonna do that. So let's see, give us the old, the old shine. Yeah, that'll do. 60 cal on the upper wing guns. That should be enough. This is not a terribly long level here. If I look at the engines, we got the Tornado G450. As you can see, we now have Nitro available. Very good. However, we're not gonna uh, gonna get the Nitro engine. Well, hold on a minute. Let's see. G one hundred fifty G six hundred. Hmm. 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 Tough call. Okay, doke. We're gonna get. Let's see. Top speed three hundred thirty-three. Nitro boost. Top speed. 251. Holy hell. Okay, we're not going to get the Nitro, but we are going to get the top tier 600. The Nitro will be useful later on, but for now, it's not such a big deal. Let's bump this guy up to three hard points. Bump this guy up to... Hello. Huh, not enough. Okay, so let's drop the armor just a touch. 20... Okay, down to 15, 15, 15, yeah, 10, 10, 280, damn, so close, okay, uh, uh, rats, all right, I'm just gonna have to go with that, let's bring the armor back up, don't want to get too silly here, uh, 9960, what else can I stick in there, maybe another gun, maybe one more, one more gun? No, absolutely not. Uh, okay, fine. Fine, I'll just, uh, I'll just, uh... uh no, that's not gonna work either. Okay, shoot. Uh, um... 
Fine, fine. G450 with nitro. That'll that'll do it. Uh, with a hard point, we'll stick a we'll stick a third hard point in there. Uh, where it's at ten four. I thought I did the math on this already. Nine six. All right, fine, fine, fine. I'm gonna, just gonna do it like this. Nose tail armor. Who needs nose armor? I'm always getting shot in the ass anyway. Here we go. Try something new here. Let's see, go like that, and go like that. Oh, that's a good looking setup there, old American Red Cross or something. Uh, throw some of those on there. Ready to purchase, yes. Okay, G450 with the nitrous. Some armor, 160 cal, and some hard to put. Oh, fucking good. Alright, uh. Get rid of this piece of crap. Get! There we go. Okie doke. Ah, with, without further ado. Sparks just got this telegram over the wireless from New York. Go ahead, kid. Zachary, friends at Sacred Trust tell me Boeing ordered Blake to personally punch your clock. Stop. Military bag staging large posse at Boeing Field, Tuesday AM against you. Stop. Finally pay off my debt to you. Hope you die. Stop. Love Major Loyal, Showstopper Crawford, Broadway Bombers Militia. Stop. Yeah! So Paladin Blake himself has come to town aboard the Promised Land. A light carrier class military zeppelin carrying three full fighter squadrons. Three? Whoa, what are we doing sticking around here for then? Sit down, Tex. Planes are only dangerous in the air, you know. On the ground, they're just kindling. I'm listening. At dawn, the Promised Land is scheduled to take off from Boeing Field. Until then, she's moored here. That's when we strike. But what about firepower, Skipper? Once that zep gets airborne, I've it's made arrangements with Slippery Sam. What? That shifty little number? What's she gonna do? Sabotage, Tex. Sabotage. Slippery Sam is gonna sneak aboard that Zeppelin and rig their broadside cannon hatches to be locked open. I figure once we destroy three magazines, the whole Zepp collapses, along with all those fighters inside. And that's only the half of it. Sam's accidentally welding their docking clamps shut. They won't be able to get the promised land into the air for a week. Sometimes you scare me, Cap. The Zeppelin, the planes, and Paladin Blake all in one shot? Not quite. Blake is organizing the attack from a nearby airfield. Old Iron Bridges doesn't get out from behind the desk very often, but when he hears we're torching his Zeppelin, he's sure to come running. When we hit the airfield, they'll use this radio tower here to send a message to Blake. We can delay the arrival of reinforcements by destroying that tower. That should buy us a few extra minutes. We'll drop in over the coast here and head over the airfield. The more fighters we take out on the ground, the better. After that, head for the Zeppelin. When we're done, I want everyone back to the Pandora. We launch in 15. I don't know how closely any of you were paying attention to that uh, that briefing there, but it got pretty badly desynced uh, after a little bit there. Uh, so let's see, Hello Blue, Devastator, good, 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 fine, whatever. There, there's our buddy. Okay, this guy's got all explosive ammo. I'm gonna have all slugs. No, explosives also. I'm gonna go with high explosive rockets this time since we're trying to do direct damage instead of uh, instead of splash damage. It doesn't matter if we attack the engines or not. The thing's not gonna be in the air. So this will be good. Plenty of high explosive uh, rockets, explosive ammo, and the guns. Um, what I'm doing right here with the one gun is a little tricky. You generally want to have at least two guns. Uh, this is a little foolish, but I'm fairly confident that I can wrap this up before I run out of ammo. But this is probably the last time you're going to see me go into combat with only one gun set up. So, let's go. Puppy! Puppy, puppy, puppy. Uh, you know, we never decided on a name for that guy, did we? I guess it's not important. Any of you who go back to look will see that the list of dog names are gone and have been replaced instead by all these very, very good plane write-ups that some of you have put together. I thought those were a little more deserving of the space. 
Uh, so, uh, take a look. Won't you? Got a little sprite of a kestrel there on the right. As you progress in the game, you start getting uh, more and more planes here in the hangar. It's kind of a nice touch. Oh my goodness. Alright, all ahead full. Let's fuck this guy up. <laughs> That's right. And the peacemakers already down. Oh my god, the brigand is so murderer. Sneak attack. Watch out for flak. Going for your ground to the engine in place and ready to swat those flies. Let's see, we've got some peacemakers on the ground here. Not for long with my brigand around. Tremble, tremble. Move back around and see if I can get a couple myself. Smack into the ground. We're working on it, promised land, but all our crews are pinned down. Oh, it's wow. going to take some time. Oh, I love that brigand. With your turrets. Looks like Slippery Sand did the job. The promised land can't unhook the docking clamps, and our broadside cannon doors are jammed open. Aim for those broadside cannons, people. Shit on Sparks. You heard him, people. Keep your eyes peeled and be careful. Oh, whoa, 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 what's going on over here? On your right, Bandit Barry, three o'clock. Aha. Uh -huh. You got away this time. Ow, nuts, I've been hit. On your left, Bandit, nine o'clock high. Heads up. The Bogey, only way I can deal high. with a blood hawk is with my. Nitrous. Okay. You'll notice that I ignored the uh, the radio tower back there. I've destroyed that in the uh, in, er, in other missions. And uh, and they're right. You destroy the radio tower and uh, and reinforcements don't show up for a while. Uh, they do show up eventually, about five minutes later. And so you're just flying around. With your thumb up your butt for five minutes while nothing is happening. It's not very exciting. I'm still on your six. I'm still here, punk. Thanks for the help. Me and the old girl sure can use it. Someone get this guy off me. I'm breaking up. Oh, and there's our... We are returning to target, over. There's our brigand again. Watch it! That's live fire! Oops, I missed. Heads up, folks! Reinforcements incoming from the north! That'll be the Blake man himself. 
Chief, you hot dog. You hot dog. That's me. Thank God for that brigand. Boeing Field, this is Paladin Lake. We have some hostiles. We're here to take them down for you. Yes, sir. Give them hell, sir. Take your business elsewhere, pirates. This is Paladin Lake. And you're on my watch now. Steady, everybody. Here they come. It's almost over now. Okay, more Bloodhawks. Now, I very nearly brought a Bloodhawk along on this, this fight, but... Hard. Maneuverability, oh my god. Maneuverability is actually not that useful in this, uh... That's in this the way fight. to do it! Watch out, bandit! At Nine o'clock low! This'll be over soon. I'm still on his feet. Watch out, bogey at six o'clock. I got me a slippery one, comrades. Comrades? Comrades? Doggy bird. Good work, boys. Let's hightail it back to the Pandora before Holy more fighters shit. show up and this party gets too crowded. Feel kind of bad Good about this. Take heading home. Out. Sure thing, Chief. And there's the man. This is the Pandora. We still have bandits attacking us, sir. You'll have to take them down before it's safe to dock. Damn you, Zachary. You will regret that. Nice to meet you, too. This is the Pandora. All attackers destroyed. You're cleared to land, boss. Yeah, train. <laughs> oh. Well, that's that, apparently. The system still says that I have a stunt. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is the mission that we picked up Ilsa in the train. Does that mean... Oh, God. Dare I... No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, maybe. Let's give it a shot. Where does that thing come out? Train tracks, train tracks. Okay, seriously, where does that thing come out? Alright, well, it wasn't meant to be. Let's just get out of here. I'm not here for the stunts. Though you might be. Yeah. Yeah, exciting, isn't it? This is what you do for half the damn mission if you destroy that radio tower. So don't do it. Good thing I got my zoom zoom. Mission accomplished. There we go. Peril for Blake. That mission, I got five Bloodhawks, one Peacemaker, and Paladin Blake himself. I find it necessary to point out that in the run I did of this, when I didn't bring my murder brigand along, I had eight Bloodhawks and four Peacemakers, uh, but I didn't get this guy. Uh, so, okay, 13%, fine, seven minutes. Still no money. Surprise, surprise. How about that? Uh-oh. We've undermined Blake's uh, confidence. Nobody trusts him anymore. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, there's our, uh, our telegram from Showstopper Crawford. 
hope you die. Very nice of him to say that. That's this guy right here. You saw him in the parade of something or other in the uh, intro video. Hollywood is safe, says Johnny Johnson. That's the guy who's in charge of um, uh, something here. Boeing? I don't know. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, so what do we got over here? Uh, we got Palin and Blake. Oh, look at this. It have you ever seen CSI, the first one, the good one, CSI, Las Vegas? Kind of looks like that guy. Forgot his name. Let's see, from Blake Aviation Security. Seattle Covenant Hospital, recovering well, no thanks to you. We did not appreciate the flowers you sent. Expect your next meeting to go rather differently. Advise you finalize your affairs. Stop. Oh, <laughs> Zachary is a classy character, isn't he? So, you see, uh, what do we have here? We've got uh, got one stunt. That's pretty cool. Zeppelin back there. It's on fire. Got another one over here. I seem to be pulling up on all of these. I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, and yet I missed one, two, three stunts, one of which is almost certainly the train tunnel. Forget it. So there you go. Uh, we're making progress. We're still in Pacifica, and uh, things are going to start heating up, so... Uh, stay tuned. Let's take a look at the planes that we got today. Today we're looking at the North American Aviation XB-70 Valkyrie. It was a special bomber that never saw full production or military service. It was the heir to the B-52 as a high-altitude, nuclear-capable strategic bomber during the Cold War and could be described as the love child of the B-52 and the SR-71, combining the best features of both aircraft. From its bulky and brawny father, the SB-70 inherited nuclear capability, sturdy redundant systems, and a substantial bomb payload. From its sleek and stunningly advanced mother, the Valkyrie inherited extreme speed and altitude capabilities. While it couldn't fly as high or as fast as the Blackbird, sustained Mach 3 at 70,000 feet for a nuclear bomber was no joke. Also like the Blackbird, the Valkyrie was a study in practical insanity for aviation science. The Blackbird and the Valkyrie were both constructed of extraordinarily advanced materials and components in order to fly at such high altitudes at extreme speeds for extended periods, and both faced similar problems. Problems the Lockheed Skunk Works were not interested in sharing the solutions to, it seems, because the Valkyrie encountered severe problems just holding together. One problem the SR-71 never faced was lift. It never had to carry a massive payload of bombs. The Valkyrie ultimately used a novel method of generating lift never used before or since. At supersonic speeds, the Valkyrie literally rode its own sonic boom, for all intents and purposes surfing on the shockwave to provide more lift. Unfortunately, the Valkyrie was in prototype stage when the USAF decided missile technology, particularly of the surface-to-air variety, had become too advanced. The high and fast concept for strategic bombing was doomed and the Valkyrie died with it alongside the SR-71 and the U-2 spy plane. Only two prototypes were built. One was destroyed in an accidental collision with an F-104 starfighter during testing in the desert. And the other is on display at the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Ohio. 